Okay, so today we are going to make a two-colored uh, paracord bracelet that looks something like this. And I'm going to show you how you fuse the colors together. So, uh, you're going to start by taking two four-foot sections of cord, and then what I normally do is haul out a few, about six inches or so, of the inner strands on the end. And then I get a candle and I just basically melt the edges, put them together, and then I take a pair of needle nose pliers and squeeze the two together to fuse. So that'll make it nice and flat. And so what you what you end up with is um, a very nice flat surface. Now you may have to actually uh, cut some of the sides of the burned paracord off before you put this in your buckle. So basically, once you have uh, got that fused, then you, you're, you're basically tucking it up one side of the buckle and down the other. So pay close attention that you're going to keep the part where you fuse, you're going to actually pull that through. So you will pull the paracord through, oops, got a knot here, and then what I do is I actually go ahead and pull it all the way through so that the burned piece where it's connected is well after the buckle so it'll get covered and then what you want to do is take the other end of the paracord make sure you make them even A little knot here I don't know why I didn't check that out before so again you're going to make the paracord all the same way and then you're going to tuck it into the other side of the buckle and pull it through all right so what we have here is we have a template that we've made. The template um, actually has belt clips on the top and these are the even sizes and these are the half sizes. So we're going to make a seven. So we're going to put the top of the template in. Okay. Now we are going to make a yellow bracelet or a bracelet with orange in the middle. So it's going to look like this when we're done. And the reason I say that is whatever color you want in on the top is what you have to start with on the top. So we're going to make this with orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting the orange over top and then the blue goes over top on this side but then tucks in. And that is the knot. Now you'll you'll also start on this side wherever the knot is that's the side you're going to start on with the cord. Again, so you're going to put the orange over the top and you're going to tuck the blue in. You'll continue down the path. This template is very nice. It sits in your lap. It rests on a table. We used to have individual templates for each size, but when we would go to a trade show, we would actually have like 12 single templates and and if someone wanted to make the same size but just different colors they had to wait for you to be finished so this template was um, a wonderful idea um, because it again, allows you to make every single size so we, we only have to have two templates now if two of us go to a trade show and if we could both make the same size so it's been really good but again we sit it on our lap it rests on a table and um, it just holds the bracelet in place really nice and allows you to pull 
tightly. So we're going to finish on down. Again, always keeping the, the orange. I keep wanting to call it yellow, but it is orange. On the top of the bracelet, pulling tight. Uh, when you do get around the knot, you'll, you'll want to make sure that's covered. So this time it covered pretty nicely. So, uh, But sometimes you, you just never know how the knot uh, sometimes separates right where the, the crack is. So you actually can tighten this up by pulling up on it a little bit, pushing all the knots up this way. And what's nice is you get a, get a couple more knots, make it as tight as you can, and that is it. Uh, you have your bracelet. This is a seven. And again, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how you burn the edges here in just okay, a second. Okay, so now we're going to finish the bracelet. So once you do, what you do is you want to make sure that you've pulled it really tight and you've got it all tight. Then what you do is you take your scissors and you will actually, uh, I always bend the buckle a little bit there, so you're going to trim it pretty close and on the other side as well cut the buckle okay so now the only thing left to do is to, fu uh, to fuse the um, paracord and someone took my scissors, my really sharp scissors so I'm using a pair that's not as sharp so what we do is we keep a candle burning because after you flip this lighter so many times it gets it's easy to just light the, the lighter with the candle and then the object is to actually burn the end so that it melts and then once you see that it's really melting then what we do is we take the lighter and we tamp it down we tamp it down so that it's uh, adheres to the the other end of the bracelet. And then we're going to do the same for the other color here. I'll move that out so you can kind of see. But once we get the light, and we're going to... I usually try to use the blue part of the flame. I don't know whether that's... Uh, it just works better for me. So when, when once I see that it has melted, then I actually tamp it down a little bit, make it smooth. You may want to feel it just because if you are giving this to somebody, there may be some sharp edges, in which case you would just have to light it again and tamp it down. But this is actually a finished product. This is a size uh, 7 bracelet. Go Florida Gators! So, awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your bracelets.